Hey everyone. Yeah, yeah. Today I got Rondi. He brought a bunch of stuff here. We're gonna test the card out. Let's say everyone say hi to Rondi. And it's we okay. also have D miners here today. He's gonna help us test this new 6700 XT from Power Color with the PMD, get true wattage readings on it. So give us one second and we're gonna set this on up for you. Power Color 6700 XT. Go ahead and throw it on the riser, please. Yep, just off to the side here, and then these two power cables get plugged to the top. There we go, I'll hold the card for you. And once me and D get this hooked up, we're gonna let Ronnie do his uh, tuning mojo there. Already on. There we go. So what we got set up is regular server power supply, Reptech's going to be the main controller. Then we've got the PMD as the pass-through, so we can read the power from the riser and the card itself, and of course the GPU. So let's get this turned on. Go ahead and hit that button for me, please. There we go, she woke up. So let's give it a few minutes. We'll get it into Hive. I already have a test SSD set up. I'm gonna switch spots here, let Ronnie sit down and let him do his magic. Okay, Ronnie's got it overclocked. Cash it away. Right now, 46.49 mega hash and 105 software watts. 1250 on the core, 675 for the core voltage, and 1075 on the memory. Now, let's compare 106 software with, what do you want to say, 112, 113, 114. So it's actually really close considering it's AMD. Now we're going to do a little bit more tuning. I want to show Rondi a trick. I think we can save like 30 watts and keep the same mega hash. Give us one second. Okay, so we did a little bit with the clocks and we brought down the wattage maybe about 10 watts. What we ended up doing is now it says software. We're pulling 95 watts and we're hashing at 46.28. We only lost 0.2 mega hash. All we did was change the core to 1150 from 1250 and added in the um, memory controller voltage and the memory itself voltage. That brought it down to 94 software watts, which in turn, brings us right to about 100 watts. We have one more setting we want to change in the overclock and we should save probably at least another 20 watts and keep that hash rate. Okay, so here's our final step. Ronnie's got it set. We're still getting 46.3 mega hash. Only 81 software watts, 1150 core, 640 on the core voltage, 675 on the memory controller voltage, 1270 on the memory itself, and the memory is tuned down to 1074. And that goes over to real wattage. About 86 watts. So we have actually saved about 25 to 28 watts with just some tunings. Now there was one other setting that I had Rondi throw in real quick. If you can pull up the tunings down at the bottom here, see if I can get this over here correctly. SOC frequency at 980 and SOC BDD max at 850. That's basically what did the magic. We saved a few watts with everything else, but this is what really saved the wattage on the 6700 XT. So the power colors seem to pull a little bit more power overall. We still got the savings of 25 to 28 watts roughly. At my crypto closet in one of my Octo miners, I also have an ASRock 6700 XT. That's pulling 46.4. Basically the same timings, the same SOCs, but only 70 watt software. So you'll have to try different brands, but even there, I still got the savings of 25 to 28 real watts. So ASRock, definitely a little more efficient than Power Color. Power Color, definitely a lot more pretty than ASRock. So thanks Rondi for helping me tune today and play with this. 
Thanks, D Miners, for hanging out with us today. And we'll be back with um, some other crazy shenanigans. Take it easy.